It is day 17 of Preptober where we are plotting a book in 31 days and today we are looking at a pitch or a synopsis for your book. It is time to see if you have the basis of your story down, if you know what your story is about. So what you're doing today is writing a pitch, preferably try to write an elevator pitch and that is very short between like 20 or 30 words and it describes the very, very core of your story. In order to do this, you need to identify the thing, the thing that makes your story interesting and unique. And it might very well have something to do with the original idea you had at the very, very beginning, or you might have moved on from that, but it's worth looking back to that and see what you can do there. If you can create a good elevator pitch, a good pitch that will make readers interested and want to read more, that is great because then you know where to focus your efforts and what part of the story that readers will want to know more about. If you can't create a good elevator pitch, don't worry. I can also not do that. I can very, very rarely do that. I've done it once, I think. But give it a try, and if you can't do it, or if you can do it but still want to do more, write a longer pitch. Not a long pitch, keep it under a page, definitely under a page. Now, I hate doing this. I am very bad at doing this. I am not good at all at keeping things short and sweet. But it's still a thing that I try to do because it is very... it's very good. It's good to practice, and this is a thing that is good to have. So what you want to do is describe the most interesting and or the most important things, and you will have to leave a lot out. You won't be able to describe every single thing because that's what the book is for. Uh, you're going to have to ignore some characters and some subplots and some twists and turns and some world building aspects and a lot of other things. What you will be left with in the end is the core of the story. And this is the thing that I go back to when I feel stuck, either when I'm writing or when I'm outlining. Um, if I don't know where I'm going next, I look back at this and I figure out how can I get from where I am now in the outlining or in the story, how can I get from there back to this core? Can I do that? What I have just outlined or written, does that impact this core at all? Does it have anything to do with this? If it doesn't, then it's possible that this is a sidetrack that I need to remove or I need to change it to make sure that it has something to do with this core. So what you should have at the end of the day is an elevator pitch and or a shorter than one page synopsis that describes the most important aspects of your story.